Yeah, our next story. is about someone who's currently living in the United States. But way back when, when he was a second initiate, Uba, this means rich in, Afri in, in African language, means rich. Uba, he wanted to soul travel more than anything because as far as he was concerned, if he could soul travel, this would prove that Ekankar was real. And that the Ek teachings were what they said they were. So he's so desperate to learn to soul travel. He, he tried a fasting technique that, it, that his Christian father had taught him before the father had died. Of course, sometimes they come in dreams and tell you all kinds of things. And it was a three-day dry fast. So Uba left the quiet and calm of his village, and he went off by himself. And he sat there for three days, and absolutely nothing happened. <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. So he came back. But what kept his faith in Ak, when he got back to town, this complete stranger comes up to him, and says, your friend wants me to introduce, you know, the stranger to Uba's religion. And Uba says, what friend? And the stranger said, the one who goes with you everywhere in town. And then this stranger described perfectly the Ek Master Rebus Artars. A long time ago he served in Tibet. And Uba was looking at this and he said, here he was. He just lost his father. He had two toddlers at home and he didn't have a job. And yet he had the company of an Ek Master. And sometimes people wonder, you know, if someone else can see the Master, why can't, you know, why can't I then? Because it isn't necessary. Sometimes it would detract you from what your true, true goal is, which is going home to God. In some way, spiritually, it's better for you that you just know that the master or a master, one of the Ek masters, is always with you. But when Uba had this news that he had this friend, this invisible friend going everywhere he did, he became more active in ek activities and also the spiritual exercises of ek. This is a recurring theme of those people who just keep trying in ek. You double down. And then one night, after doing his spiritual exercises, he had gone back to bed, 
and before he knew it, he was out of the body, just as smooth and easy as you please. And there was such ecstasy, so much ecstasy with his state. <laughs> Uba felt so good, puts his fist in the air and he says, it works, Mahanta, it works. <laughs> and that was when he was still out of the body, you know. <laughs> He said, Ek works. Thank you, Mahanta. And these soul travel experiences went on for many more nights, and then slowly, ever so slowly, they, be they began to let up. And then Later he wondered, you know, years and years later, he said, why can I soul travel now? Because usually when people soul travel, it's in one of the lower worlds where he was as a second initiate, and that's where you are spiritually. But as you get into the higher areas, you no longer soul travel, but your expansion and your maturation, or as you move toward your goal, returning to the kingdom of God, it takes other forms. Now it'll be different for each one of you. Some of you will you know, have guidance through intuition much more than before, or some other way you'll just no. And so we say at a certain level, it's seeing, knowing, and being. And if you're not there yet, just keep trying.